Oh. At this point, this is just... This is just torture, bro. Lord have mercy! The night unknown Manny Pacquiao became feared. Now look, this is a little bit different to my other videos, but not really, right? I mean, I think I've done something similar to this before, but many people linked it, and I said, you know what? Why not? Because I've always loved Manny Pacquiao. No BS here, bro. I always did love Manny Pacquiao. I always thought he was so dope. Like, this short dude, and he's just so sick at fighting, bro. Like, I just remember when I would see it, I was like, no way. Like, no way, bro. No way he beating people left right like this and you watch him fight and it's spectacular but i saw this get linked to me and i was like forget it let's just do it man and so here we are let's see together and if you if any of you guys like it just let me know if you want more of this stuff let me know down in the comments subscribe become a member it helps the channel i love y'all let's check this out here is 2002 manny pacquiao i was one years old through the ranks of philippine boxing and making a big splash in an even bigger america wants to go from a two-weight world like champion look all the way up to a three-weight i'm scared but first a former champion named jorge julio wants to steal what pac-man has worked so effortlessly for in a holy yet well-deserved 12-round bout Will the old but wise champion Julio show that experience trounces flashiness, or will Pacquiao's journey as a formidable threat only now He's so be going skinny, into bro. second gear? Welcome back to Boxing After Dark. Tonight, we're reminiscing over the early the years hidden of power. the future legend and one of its most remarkable chapters. Let's get into it. In 2002, Manny Pacquiao was yet to have some of the more eye-catching wins that he'd later be known for. There's no Eric Morales, Ricky Damn. Hatton, Oscar De La Hoya, <laughs> or Adrian Broder yet on his resume. But there was a tremendous amount of potential. Yes, Pac-Man had faltered twice in his career so far with a record of 33-2. and two. But one of That's one thing I hate about boxing. I hate seeing that. And the other was against a solid knockout artist, Medgon Sincheret in a bout that Pacquiao Damn, was clearly unready for. But an essential aspect of this he second put him in doggy loss that's style. Okay. undermined is that this is what caused the boy in Manny to be my bad, bro. and the legend to be born. I always said, you never know when the next Muhammad Ali is going to walk through your door. And then one day, this little Filipino kid, 122 pounds, 122? He comes up to me, can barely speak English. His manager, Mr. Nazario, says, we hear you're pretty good in the mitts. I said, I'm okay. After one round, we clicked like we knew each other our whole life. After losing this title, the wow. race to become the champion again was on. And it'd be two years later when that moment would come in the super bantamweight division against the... Yo, so here's the thing real quick. I don't mean to pause, but I have to pause because the guy just talking. But listen, uh, the thing is, like, it's beautiful to know he was knocked down multiple times and... Right after that, he learned from it. A lot of people, they kind of go on a downhill. After they get knocked down, they say, bro, you know what? And then it just gets worse and worse. Bro got knocked down twice, and just he just kept going. He did not stop. He persevered. That's a lot of things that I really love about Filipino culture, too. It's a very empowering thing, and I guarantee this is exactly why people love Manny Pacquiao, because he shows exactly what it's about, about keep going. Do not give up. What it, like, grow from this. Grow from this. This is not about, oh, pout and sit there and cry. Get up and keep going, bro. And then this is exactly what he did. 122 pounds. 122 pounds. Showing up, bro, barely speaking English, just talking to the dude because he wants to be better. This is just amazing, bro. This is what I love, man. Manny Pacquiao. Underrated Lenalolo Leduaba. I had never seen him. I frankly had never heard of him. But I've seen and heard of him now. After just one defense against the also talented Agapito Sanchez, which ended in a draw on the doctor's orders, the great within Pacquiao had awoken, and he refused to be stepped on or overlooked again. And this is where Jorge Julio comes in. Well, I say night arrived on the 8th of June 2002, as the Pac-Man, then going by the name of the Destroyer, made his way to the ring. The screaming and sputtering crowd had already crowned their champion before the bout had begun. Wow. After the challenger enters the ring, the two touch gloves and the bell rings for the first time. Oh dear. First round? No way. Also the manager of Agapito Sanchez, who fouled Pacquiao so ruthlessly in San Francisco and 
Freddie Roach said to us yesterday, I wouldn't be surprised if Julio mm. tries to do the same doggone thing. It's like a snake with the way he, he hits them jabs, bro. For Pacquiao to learn mm. to foul a guy back when he fouls him. Can't imagine anyone fouling me when I were fighting that many times. Big left hand by Pacquiao. Julio's oh my gosh. There with the left hand counter. Pacquiao has already gotten some of Julio's respect for his power. You bro, boxing just scares me. This is why you don't ever judge a book by its cover, bro. Look at him. You would never expect. This is why I don't mess with people, bro. I just don't. I don't know who you messing with, bro. Like, you literally never know. Be kind, bro. Mm. Damn. You hear the skin clapping, bro. No! Now that's the gloves, right? On the skin and stuff. Oh. Oh, my. He knocked the sweat off his forehead, bro. What the fuck? Got the neck on his forehead. Body shot by Pacquiao. Julio seems a little bit flustered by Manny's power. Yeah, he's gonna go down soon. Hey, round respect. one finds Manny Pacquiao looking fresh and elegant as he pounds on pressure from the opening bell. A war is traded from the beginning of the three minutes to the end, and despite Pacquiao looking the better of the two, Julio is taking the power better than many other opponents of Pac-Man thus far. Well, yeah, look at him, bro. He got he got his sweat knocked off his forehead, and he's still taking it. Got to give respect when respect is due. Oh, there it is. But it's going to start catching up. Mm, yeah, it's kind of over. At this point, this is just, this is just torture, bro. He's just holding out, yeah. He's holding. Damn, my G. Mm. Oh my! A little grabbing and holding might be the thing to do. Lord have mercy! Lord have mercy! Bro got stamina forever. Have y'all ever tried boxing? I've I've done boxing before. It is tiring. Tiring. Despite his young age. Pac-Man had the showings of a true champion yeah, with bro. the wisdom of an experienced fighter. Uh, all the belt, I want to unify that uh, in 122 and uh, 126 pounds. Any, any, any opponent. Jorge Julio's professional career after this fight pounds. was an unfortunate yet unsurprisingly short one, fighting only one more time professionally against Israel Vasquez, another legend of the bantamweight division who would knock out Julio and lead oh. him to retire with an indubitably respectable record of 44 and five. Manny Pacquiao's career, meanwhile, was only just getting started, even though he was 37 fights into his career. After becoming a world champion in another six weight divisions and defeating most of the greats of oh his time, goodness. Pacquiao would retire with a beautiful record of 62 and eight, with a handful oh of my. losses being shrouded in controversy and many wins being glorified for their significance to the sport and incredible performances. Manny, since retirement, has teased potential professional comebacks along with Olympic returns and exhibitions. But after the falling through of a potential rematch with Floyd Mayweather Jr., it's unclear what Manny will do next. But either way, all boxing fans will undoubtedly follow and admire what he sets out to achieve in the future. A legend, bro. Honestly, Manny Pacquiao will stay a legend forever, bro. And reason being is he was somebody that I feel like not a lot of people expected. And I feel like that makes that triumph way better. Because when you don't expect that person, when you don't predict that person to be what they are, being something great, it makes it that much more sweet, you know? And I just love the idea of Manny Pacquiao showing up and just, oh my goodness, like what's going on? Like, who is this dude? Like that feeling will never ever, ever stop especially when it comes to boxing or anything else related in life when someone just shows up and they start giving you this crazy like whoa where did they come from like this is just crazy what they're able to do what they're capable of but honestly to be real Manny Pacquiao this is like that Filipino courage that they just simply have which I absolutely admire and I take into my life every day you know what I'm saying I believe in never giving up and always pushing through no matter what like when times are tough those are the times that build character it is not a, a failure it is a character building moment 
moment. That's what I usually call it. And Cristiano Ronaldo being my idol, this adds a lot to the table, basically. So, for example, Cristiano Ronaldo would fail at something, fail, character building. You would grow, you do something. You take all these aspects and you could take it from Manny Pacquiao as well. This is why I bring up Cristiano Ronaldo because he's an athlete just as Manny Pacquiao is an athlete as well. And you take this in and you realize like what all of them have in common is they don't give up. They don't. They really don't. And that's one of the biggest things that I really, really do admire and I love about Manny Pacquiao. It's it's incredible. And no matter what you think, no matter what you see, in reality, it's a large part mental. A large part. Actually, like 90% mental, 10% physical in my opinion and i only say that because i'm not saying like of course like if you are strong you can't like knock out manny pacquiao or uh, you know whatever whatever but my point is 90 percent is mental the only way you can get strong is mentally to to push yourself to keep going you know so many aspects include mentality and that's one of the biggest things i love about manny pacquiao and his incredible perseverance his incredible diligence like everything is just amazing when you think about that and i love this video it was nice it was beautiful it felt like it was short but it was actually like seven minutes long but look thank you guys for linking this i really do appreciate hey if you want more like this let me know but uh thank you so 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 much for watching i really do appreciate it hey if you liked it leave a like if you loved it subscribe if you want more let me know down in the comments below and yeah Till next time, guys. Peace.